How dare you try to flirt with another woman's man? What is the matter with you, you creepy little stalker? You've got some nerve, do you know that? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? I really have no idea what this could be about at all. I am talking about that man, and don't pretend like you don't know who I'm talking about. I just want you to know that he is my boyfriend, and you are just the ex that he wants nothing to do with. You're just old baggage from his past, and he doesn't want you in his life anymore. Don't you get that? I'm sorry. I don't even have this number saved in my phone. Just who am I even talking to right now? I mean, are you sure that you have the right number? I think that you might be talking to the wrong person. I know that I have the right number. There's no way that I would make a mistake about this. And I know for a fact that you are Jonathan's ex-girlfriend who keeps stalking him. Sorry, you think that I'm Jonathan's ex-girlfriend? Don't you play stupid with me! You know exactly what I'm talking about, and I'm not going to let you go and pretend otherwise. You're Jonathan's ex, just admit it. Well, I just want you to know that Jonathan and I are married now. Do you know what that means? It means that he doesn't want you in his life any longer. Wait, what? You two are married? Are you serious? Did you really marry Jonathan? <laughs> you mean that you didn't even know? What kind of horrible stalker are you if you didn't even figure that out? Although, I suppose someone like you would be shocked about this. A stalker like you is probably always holding out hope that you and your ex are going to be back together any day now. But you should know that I'm the one that he married, not you. So how about you finally just give this all up? Because John is my man and nobody else is. Got it? Okay, now hold on just a second here. I think that there's been some kind of misunderstanding. First of all, I am not his ex-girlfriend at all, okay? Excuse me? Don't you dare try and pretend like you're going to correct me if you're just going to lie to my face. I saw the two of you out on dates before. But now you're trying to pretend like you're not his ex that he broke up with and wants nothing to do with anymore? I knew that you were a little crazy, but this is just too much. I'm sorry, but I really don't think that you have a single clue about who you're talking to right now. Why don't you just give it a rest already and face up to the facts of reality, huh? And those facts are that you are Jonathan's ex-girlfriend and that you are still madly in love with him. You've been chasing after him all of this time since you two broke up, but you're nothing but a bad memory at this point. So you're the one that's wrong in all of this because John simply doesn't want you anymore. You're just an ugly fatty who needs to learn her place. Excuse me? What did you just call me? Are you kidding me right now? You do realize that Jonathan works for a very large and powerful company, don't you? He's a very high-paid employee on track to become management. He makes hundreds of thousands of dollars every year and is one of the hardest working men that I know. So he's not just some ordinary guy that anyone can date. Especially not an ugly, fat stalker such as yourself. You never even had a chance with him. Okay, first of all, I don't see why you need to resort to name calling for any of this. Second of all, you're the one who started texting me out of nowhere to accuse me of all these things that I'm just not. You're being incredibly rude right now, and it's preventing us from having a real conversation. Oh, <laughs> just shut up already, you ugly cow. How dare an uggo like you think that you have any right to talk back to a pretty girl like me? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, are you even reading these messages that you're sending me? Look, I've seen what you look like on your social media, and I know that you're nothing but a fat, ugly woman who should be embarrassed to post photos of her own face. But I'll also have you know that whenever I post a selfie, my posts always get hundreds and hundreds of likes from all of my adoring followers. And that's why I was obviously the right choice to marry John. <laughs> Look, you crazy lady. I'm trying to tell you that I am not John's ex. Him and I have never, ever, ever dated. Don't you get that? You can go on all that you like, but you're still nothing but a stalker and that's all you'll ever be. Especially now that John and I are married, now the chances that you two will ever get back together really are zero. So why don't you just give it up already and quit following John around? 
Hey, John, do you have a second? Because I'm talking to this woman who keeps telling me she's your wife. Wait, what? What's this all about? I hardly even hear from you, Sally. I know, but I just really need to know. Did you get married today? Well, yes, I did get married. It's actually our anniversary today. Of course, I really did want to introduce my wife to everyone before it happened, but... Well, everyone was just so busy with work and all, and I couldn't get any time off to arrange a proper meeting. So it just kind of happened that we got legally married today. Is this why you wanted to message me? I know that I should have introduced her to mom and dad first, but... No, no, that's not what this is about at all. If anything, I think it's too bad since now that means you can't go back without lots of trouble. But anyways, I just want to talk to you about something and I ask that you believe me. Because I just wish that you would have told us a little earlier that we could have found out the kind of person your wife really was. Oh, well, if that's what this is about, then you've got nothing to worry about at all. Julia's a really sweet lady. She's so quiet and thoughtful, too. I mean, this is a little cheesy to say, but she really is my dream woman. Are you kidding me? Is that really the kind of person that you think you've married? I mean, to be honest with you, I think that she's way too pretty for me, so I always get flustered around her. But we actually met because I rescued her from some guys who were catcalling her. I thought that she would have been cold to me after all that happened, but she was really sweet and got along quickly after all. And as a way to say thanks, on the day that I helped her out, she gave me her number. After that, it was really only a matter of time until we were dating. I see. And you're saying that Julia is a sweet, quiet, thoughtful person, is that right? Yeah, she really is great, and I've been thinking that you two would probably get along really well. In fact, I would really like it if you two could meet. So I know that we're getting the order a bit backwards, but how's this weekend work to meet? Oh, I'm really sorry to say, but I'm actually going to France next weekend. Although, I would really like to meet her as soon as possible. She is your wife, after all. Man, you really do know how to keep busy all of the time, don't you? Can't you ever catch a vacation? No, I'm afraid that my job loves to fly me around for all kinds of things. And they aren't really as generous with time off as your job is. But it's okay, because I really love my job. So even traveling, it's okay. And of course, they compensate me really well, so... Well, I just think that it's unfortunate that we'll have to put off you meeting my wife. But I guess that means that the first time you meet her in person might be at the wedding. Yes, I suppose that's how it's going to be shaking out at this point, right? Of course, meeting your wife for the first time at your guys' wedding has me a bit nervous. I just hope that we really do get along. I don't think you have anything to worry about in the slightest. I mean, I really think she is so kind and there's no way you wouldn't get along well. So I really don't think there's any need to be nervous about meeting her at all. Things are going to go great. I know, I know. I just... Do you ever worry if maybe she's just playing a character? I mean... What if that woman isn't the woman that she says she is? I'm sorry, Sally, but I really don't think you have any idea what you're talking about when it comes to that. I know Julia, and she is a kind, sweet woman who wouldn't hurt a fly. Anyways, I think that I need to turn in for the night, but good luck with your business trip. We have a lot of planning to get on with this wedding, but we'll see you there. Anyways, I think that I need to turn in for the night. But good luck with your business trip. We have a lot of planning to get on with this wedding, but we'll see you there. What do you think you're doing here, you stalker freak? I thought I told you that I wanted you to give up on John. Why can't you just leave him alone? Are you kidding me right now? Are you still seriously keeping this up? Well, I thought that I had finally seen the last of you, and that you were finally going to leave him alone. But now you've gone and snuck into our wedding? When is a fat, ugly woman like you finally going to realize that nobody wants you around anymore? You really have some nerve, do you know that? 
Okay, I'm sorry, but there has been some kind of miscommunication somewhere, and you really need to understand that I'm not John's ex. Okay, please. You really are just delusional, do you know that? What are you going to tell me, that you still want to try and marry him even though we're already married? I really don't even know what to say to you. Why are you acting this way towards me? This is really uncalled for. I can act whatever way I want with you, because it's my wedding and I'm the main character. So if I want to try and kick you out of my wedding, then I have the right to. But why can't you just stop all of this and listen to what it is I have to tell you? Why in the world should I stop and read what a crazy stalker like you has to say? I want you out of here and I'm not going to let you buy time. In fact, I think I'm going to call the police and have them drag you out of here. So what do you think about that? How do you think you'll feel when you're being dragged out of this wedding? Are you serious? You're really going to call the cops on me? Have you lost your mind? Oh, you're right. That isn't nearly enough punishment for you. I need everyone to know what a crazy stalker you are. So I'll be putting up photos of you getting arrested so everyone knows to watch out for you. What is your deal? You're taking this way too far right now. Do you know that? That's right. You're scared to have everyone know the kind of person that you really are. Isn't that right? You're so scared for me to post photos of you getting kicked out of here. But the real joke is that I've already taken photos of you and sent them to my mother-in-law and John's family, all to tell them to avoid talking to you. You mean that you really sent photos to John's family calling me a stalker? Are you serious? That's right! And before long, everyone is going to be mad that you're even here, and nobody will care if I throw you out of here. And then finally, I'll tell John to step forward while you're crying and in handcuffs so that he can tell you to your face that you two are broken up and that he doesn't want anything to do with you ever again. Then maybe you'll finally learn your lesson about messing with me. You really don't even realize what you've done right now, do you? What in the world are you talking about? I haven't even gotten started with you, really. You're just a girl that nobody would ever want to date who can't get over the one lucky break that she had. But if you don't get out of here right now, I really will call the cops on you and have them drag you out of here in the most humiliating way possible. Okay then, I guess you can tell John that his little sister went home early. Wait, what? What in the world are you talking about now? I mean that I'm sick and tired of explaining to you that John and I never ever were dating, do you understand that? But don't worry, if he asks why I wasn't at his wedding for the entire time, I'll just tell him that it was you that told me to go home. But I do really hope that you two are able to have a good ceremony after I've gone and I'm not here anymore. But wait! This doesn't make any sense at all! Are you really John's little sister? I mean, is John really your older brother? That's right, and it's what I've been trying to tell you this entire time. I'm Sally, John's little sister, and John is my big brother and always has been. I'm sorry that we haven't been able to meet in person this entire time, but my work keeps me very busy with all kinds of business trips, and we just weren't able to work something out. But, wait, this has to be some sort of lie or something like that, right? I mean, you can't actually really be his little sister, right? I mean... This whole time I thought you were his ex-girlfriend. Yes, well, I do love my big brother a lot, but only as a sister. And like I said, we've never ever dated or anything like that. What? How can this be? I really had no idea about this at all. This is all such a surprise to me right now because I had no idea that that was the case the entire time. Yes, well, I did try to correct you for a long, long time, but you refused to believe that I was anything but a stalker and a former lover of John's. But it's like I'm saying to you right now, John and I are brother and sister, so there's no way at all that I would ever date him. And now you've gone and insulted me to the point that I want to leave this wedding and never come back. I mean, really, did you know that I had just gotten off of a 10-hour flight before coming here? I'm way too exhausted to deal with this crap now. But, I mean, I don't get it. This doesn't make any sense to me at all. I remember when we started dating, I made John take down a bunch of photos that he had in his room, and some of them were of you. 
I was worried that he hadn't gotten over his exes, and he told me that those photos meant a lot to him. Well, it sounds like to me that you just demanded that he take down family photos in his own room. And if he did have photos of me, it's probably because, as I already mentioned to you in a previous message, my job is always sending me away on business trips, so John and I hardly get to see each other anymore. But then, doesn't that mean that I was just acting totally controlling and making John put away important family photos? Yeah, that's actually exactly what that sounds like to me. Although, I assume that you use those photos to track me down, right? Sprite! Right. I was looking for your social media accounts using those photos until I was finally able to find you. And so you found my social media account but didn't double take at all that John and I had the same last name? You think that I'm going to dig that deeply into some silly little ex of my now husband? No way! I just thought that you were a crazy stalker wanting to get back with him. Not only that, but I guess I was just so worried that John might still have feelings for you. I mean, he had photos of you, and he talked about how amazing you are all the time, and I just thought that he still had some hang-ups with his ex. That's why when I saw that you were still trying to spend time with him and be with him, I was worried that you were one of his exes and were trying to steal him away from me. Wait, what? You mean he really talked about me all that much to you? That is actually just so embarrassing for me. But anyways, you should know that John actually did have an ex who was hung up on. So it's possible you were seeing some of his posts about her and were assuming they were about me. But I guess that's just what you get for not doing your due diligence and actually doing any proper investigating at all. Oh man, this is actually so embarrassing that John was talking about me like that. I knew that he missed me a lot, but I guess I just didn't quite realize how much. But then, are you telling me that this entire time I've just been getting every single tiny detail of all of these assumptions that I've been making completely wrong? Is that really what's going on here? Yeah, I mean, that seems to be what has actually been going on this entire time. Of course, I knew from the very start that you didn't have a clue what you were talking about at all. But yeah, in case I haven't been able to make the point clear enough by now, I am not John's ex. I never was his ex. John and I never, ever, 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 ever dated. And the reason for all of those is because he and I are brother and sister. Not only that, but I have a boyfriend. But anyways, I've had enough disrespect from you, and I think that I'm just going to go home now. I don't know why I would put up with any more of this from you. Wait, no, please, you can't go. I really didn't realize that I was making these mistakes at all. Please, you have to understand that this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I mean, you have to know that if I knew that you were John's sister, that I would never have treated you the way that I did. I mean it. I just didn't know that you were his sister is all. But I see that it was a mistake this entire time, and I realize what it is that I was mistaken about. So please don't go. I need you here. I don't know what's going to happen when John realizes that I've scared off his sister from his wedding. Yeah, well, you basically spoiled my appetite for being there, and I don't plan on coming back at all. You made all kinds of horrible assumptions about who I was, then you started saying all kinds of mean insults to me, all because you didn't bother to check that you were working with the correct information. You've been nothing but unpleasant to deal with this entire time, and I don't really see why I should do anything for you after all that you've put me through at this point. Please don't say that! You have to know that I just didn't have all of the information that I needed. I didn't have the full picture, and that's why I said what I said and did the things that I did. But you have to know that if I knew that you were John's family, then I would never, ever, ever, ever have said any of those things to you at all. It's all just one big huge mistake. Huge mistake or no, the huge mistake was done by you. And huge mistake or no, but you still acted horrible when you were working under all these false premises. So no, I'm not going to do anything to help you now, got it? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back home and get rest, and you can explain to my brother why it is that his little sister isn't at his wedding. 
After that, I did exactly what I told Julia I would do, and I went home and took a long nap to recover from a long flight that I had arrived on this morning. When I woke up, it was several missed messages from both Julia and John. Julia was begging me to come back to the wedding, each message getting more and more desperate than the last one. Meanwhile, John's messages revealed that he eventually did notice that I was gone and asking where I was. Finally, I assumed that Julia must have come clean to John about what had happened between us because John texted me saying that the wedding was off and that he was so, so sorry for the way that his wife had treated me. While I didn't want to be the reason John got a divorce, he also got married without ever introducing his fiancée to the family at all. I told him that he was an adult who could make his own decisions, but that he shouldn't divorce just because of me. Still, John and Julia did end up getting divorced, and John still apologizes for all the things that she said to me to this day. Jessica, don't you think it's about time you come visit me? I haven't seen you for more than 10 years now. I am your mother-in-law, so you may feel uneasy around me, but I think you've avoided me enough. Hi, Martha. It's been a while. I didn't expect to hear from you. It's been 10 years already? I can't believe you never came to see me all these years. I know you're busy with work, but we don't live that far apart, and I'm sure you could have made time at least on the weekends. I'm sorry about that, but I heard you didn't want to see me. Huh? When did I say such a thing? Even if I did, it would be a long time ago. Speaking of which, I heard that you said you didn't want to see me. What? I never said that. My son tells me everything. I understand you don't like me, but avoiding me for ten years is absurd. I didn't go see you because I heard you hated me. I kept telling your son I wanted to go visit you, but he stopped me. You're lying. You blame my son for everything. You really are the kind of woman he says you are. What did he say about me? I've heard everything about you, you know. You seem to be good at cooking, but you're terrible at everything else. Maybe I'll have an urge to slap your face if you come see me now. Matt told you that? He tells me quite the opposite, that I'm terrible at cooking but good at all other chores, so that's why he hasn't divorced me yet. Oh well, in any case, you're a total failure. It's a mystery why he chose you as his wife. A woman who can't even say hi to her mother-in-law for 10 years. I really did try to go visit you, but Matt said it was a bad idea and stopped me every time. He said you hated me so much that you never wanted to see my face again. He thought it caused too much trouble. Oh, really? You think you can get away with such lies? He was telling me the exact opposite. He told me not to go see you because you hated me. Oh, is that so? That's really strange. It's as if he doesn't want us to see each other. Then, I guess that was his way of showing consideration towards us. He wouldn't want to see his wife insulting his mother, right? Plus, it'll be a hassle to stop us fighting. I sure don't like how you can lie so easily. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Then why don't you come to my place in person with a gift of apology? I'll forgive you for your rudeness if you bring me ten gifts to cover all my birthdays you've missed. Ten gifts? I'll gladly bring you gifts and also take you out for lunch or dinner, but I'm quite busy for the next few weeks. Is it okay if I go see you at the end of next month? You keep making excuses like that. You're just gonna avoid me again, huh? What a daughter-in-law. I'm not trying to avoid you. I work full-time, so I'm busy during the weekdays. Also, I'm going on a trip starting next Saturday, so... A trip? You couldn't make time for me all these years, but you have enough time to travel? I assume it'll be a luxurious trip. Well, it may not be that luxurious, 
but Matt arranged it for me. He does that for me sometimes to thank me for all my hard work. My son is a really kind man. He's too good for you. He should have married someone better than you. I'm sorry, but if you don't mind, may I go see you after the trip? Well, in that case, I shall wait. I can't ruin my son's gift. Thank you very much. Jessica, long time no see. I'm Emily, your classmate from high school. Do you remember me? Emily? Long time no see. Yeah, of course I remember you. But we haven't talked since then, so you really took me by surprise. What's going on? Sorry to contact you out of the blue. There was just something I wanted to tell you. What is it? It may feel weird that I'm asking you this, but... How are things with your husband? What? Well, I don't know if things are going great, but it's not bad. Why would you ask me that? I know it's none of my business, but he seems to be in love with someone else. So, I don't know how to say this, but... I think it's better for you to divorce him. What? Wait, what are you talking about? I mean... Why would you know about my husband? Of course you would be surprised. Actually, our husbands are friends. My husband told me what he heard from your husband, and I became worried about you. I didn't know you were married. And our husbands knew each other, and that's how you found out. How did our husbands get to know each other? They work at the same place. They go out for drinks sometimes. I see. But how did you know he was my husband? I didn't invite you to my wedding. I remember the pics he posted on Facebook. Oh, I may have posted a few pics with him. I haven't posted anything for a long time, so I forgot. There may have been some pics before we got married. When my husband showed me a picture he took with your husband, I thought I've seen that face before. And it hit me that he must be your husband. I'm surprised you recognized him. But why did you go through the trouble of telling me? We were former classmates, but we haven't spoken to each other for years. You're my friend. I can't just keep quiet knowing my friend might be betrayed by her husband. Well, we've never spoken to each other since high school, so I was really surprised. But thank you for letting me know. No problem. I can't believe he would betray such a kind person as you. You should break up with him right away. Well, we have a child, so I can't divorce him that easily. If it's just that he likes someone else, maybe we can figure things out together. What? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? He may be in love with someone, but that doesn't mean he already has a deep relationship. I wouldn't jump into a divorce just because of that. Well, it's true that he hasn't said anything more than having feelings for the other woman, but he said he wants to remarry her. That's why he's thinking of divorcing you, Jessica. Oh. My husband went into so much detail when talking to your husband? That's what I heard. I thought it might be impossible to have a future with such a man. Okay. Well, that's for me to decide. Wait. Don't tell your husband about this. If you tell him, he might have a grudge against my husband. I don't want to get in the way of their friendship. Well, you're right. If I told him that your husband told me, he would lose my husband's trust. But then, what do you think I should do? I'll give you updates. If your husband is willing to divorce you, why don't you think about the future without him? You shouldn't waste your time on such a man. It's not like we're just dating, so I have a lot to think about. But thanks for the info. I'll keep an eye on my husband and think carefully of what to do. Jessica, 
You are such a terrible mother. Your son eats a lot. The food expenses are just too much, so I'll be sure to make you pay for it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't you dare play dumb with me. How can you leave your kid with me for a month? Are you out of your mind? I will certainly make my son divorce you. Are you talking about my son, born between Matt and I? If it's about my son, he has been with me this whole time. My son and I are enjoying the beach together in Hawaii. I would never leave him for such a long time. What? You guys have only one child, right? Yes, we only have one child. So can you tell me who you're talking about? Then this child. Who is this boy in my care? Did Matt tell you to take care of that child? Did he also tell you he's our son? Of course. I would never take care of a stranger. I'm not stupid, you know. I'm not trying to say you're stupid. I'm just trying to understand what's happening. So you're saying that Matt has another kid? No, that can't be true. You're saying that my dear son Matt has an illegitimate son? Well, that's what's going on, isn't it? What did he exactly tell you when he dropped off that kid? I told him that I heard you were going on a trip. Then he got mad at me for contacting you without his permission. I was just trying to compliment him, telling him how nice it was of him to treat his wife to a trip. I see. And then, all of a sudden, his attitude changed. He asked me to take care of his son so that you two can spend time as a couple. Matt is there too, right? He's not here. He told me he couldn't come because he had to go on a business trip. So it's just me and my son here in Hawaii. He has been exposed in more ways than one. It can't be. There must be some mistake. If I call him, we can find out the truth right away. He told me not to contact him since he'd be busy during the business trip. What did he say to you? He told me not to contact him so that he could enjoy his time alone with you. Oh, so why did you contact me then? Since your son eats so much, the money I received from Matt wasn't enough. I thought I'd complain to you instead. Now, I wonder where that child came from. Once I get back, I'll go to your house and have a chat with him. Wait, there's no need for that. I'll go talk to the boy. Don't make it a big deal. I'm sure Matt has his reasons. I'm sure he has a very good reason. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. But it's weird. I've been taking care of him regularly for ten years, but you never once thanked me. I got so angry. I decided to contact you. What? You're saying horrifying things right now. You've been taking care of him for the last ten years. Whose child is he? I'll just ask him what his mother's name is right now. Yes, please let me know what he says. He said Emily. That's what I thought. Do you know who she is? She was my high school classmate. She's cute and looks very innocent, but she was famous for stealing her friends' boyfriends. I see. So that girl stole Matt from you. I heard that she was a very good cook, so it makes sense with what Matt said. I'm not very good at cooking, so Matt always complains to me about it. I'm sure Emily would make him delicious home-cooked meals. You're so calm and analytical, even after your husband is stolen. You've got some guts, but I can't believe you lost your husband to an old classmate. She's the same age as you, right? I can only say, suck it up. Let me tell you something. I'm divorcing Matt, and I know that's what you've always wanted, so you can be happy about that. Oh wow! Thank you very much. That's great. Just get divorced and get the hell out of our lives. 
but Emily is way worse than I am. What do you mean? She's famous for doing nothing except cooking. All the guys she's dated in the past broke up with her because of that. I think she's trying to marry Matt because of his income. There's no way I'm letting my son marry a woman who gave birth to his illegitimate child. I don't think she's the kind of woman who will listen to you. If you object, she'll try to marry him in secret. If she weren't such a woman, she wouldn't have an illegitimate child. It may not be easy, but she is the kind of woman who declared war on me, knowing I was Matt's wife. She tried talking me into divorcing Matt, pretending she was innocent. But I'm not going to let them get away that easily. Don't you dare do anything unnecessary. I'm fully prepared. I actually hired a detective and knew all this before you told me. So all I needed was the real evidence and your testimony. Now, I can sue him for alimony and child support. You set me up? It's all your son's fault. I haven't done anything to you or your son. I'm sorry you've been deceived by your own son for the last 10 years. Now, I'm cutting ties with you both. So you two shall fall to the ends of the earth and despair. After that, I confronted my husband with the evidence. For the past 10 years, he regularly left his illegitimate child with his mother to go on dates with Emily. I divorced him and charged him alimony and child support. Lately, I have been enjoying taking cooking classes with my son. As I expected, Emily married my ex right away. However, I had informed my ex's company of what had happened and he was reduced to an ordinary employee with a lower salary. Now, they are both in despair. My ex-mother-in-law was resented by her son for being the one responsible for making me realize what was going on. Matt cut ties with her out of anger. None of that matters to me anymore, though. I will enjoy my life with my son and try my best to raise him to be a good man, unlike his father.